Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. This is episode number 10 of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be taking a look at scalars and vectors. After measurements and units, Jam expects you to understand scalar and vector quantities. Physical quantities are quantities that can be measured and they can be fundamental or derived. Out of all these fundamental and derived quantities, we have them as vectors and scalars. They can be divided into vector and scalar quantity. Scalar quantities are quantities that have magnitude and no direction or that have magnitude but no direction. Where vectors, vector quantities are quantities that have both magnitude and direction. If you understand it that way, it may be difficult for you to understand scalars and vectors. Don't take scalars to be quantities that don't have direction. Take it this way. Scalar quantities are quantities where we are only concerned about the magnitude or about the size. We are not really concerned about the direction. If we ask you for info about the quantity and you tell us the size, we are okay. We need not uh, push you to tell us more. If I ask you what is the mass of the chicken you are holding and you say, okay, it was measured to be 2 kilograms, 2 kg. I don't need more information for you from you. I don't need to ask you, okay, in what direction is the mass? I don't need that. The mass, 2 kilograms, that is a complete update. How about a situation where I say uh, the aeroplane moves with a velocity of 2 meters per second. If I add due east or due north or add 35 degrees east, that is a complete description because since that is the aeroplane is moving at a velocity, we need to know the direction it is moving. And this is a cardinal point. North, south, west, east. So a body can move due north, south, west, east, or at a particular angle. That represents the direction of that body or of that object. The first scalar quantity we have here is speed. Speed is magnitude of velocity. Speed is distance over time. When you are describing speed, what you are concerned about is just the size, the value. We don't really bother about the direction. The path of speed where direction is important is when speed becomes velocity. Because velocity and acceleration, they are vector quantities. Velocity is displacement over time. Speed is distance over time, while distance is the ground covered by an object. The total ground, you move from here to here to here. The total area you cover is the distance. Or height and altitude all refer to distance. In describing these guys, we are not concerned about the direction. Just tell us, is the distance 2 km? Is it 5 meters? Okay, thank you. That is all. Meanwhile, displacement is the big boy or vector version of distance. 
It is the distance covered in a specified direction. Displacement is a distance covered in a specified direction. Distance is the ground covered by an object, total ground. But this displacement is distance in a specified direction. So you need to tell us the direction the distance is moving. The distance is in this direction. So displacement requires direction. And when you differentiate displacement or displacement with respect to time, you get velocity. And when velocity is changing with time, that becomes acceleration. So velocity, acceleration, which is DAV, DAV, they are vector quantity. But speed and distance are scalars. Mass is a scalar quantity. The vector version of mass are weight and force. Weight is mg. Force is ma. Weight of objects, any object, they all act downward. They go down. And if an object is inclined, you must resolve the weight to the ground or to down. And as weight goes down, the normal reaction goes up. So weight and force are vector form of vectors. They have magnitude, they have direction. If you are resolving force, you see something like this at the top, arrow. That shows that direction is important. Or you see velocity, something like this, or acceleration, dot, or something like this. They refer to vector quantities. Work done or energy, they are scalar quantities. You may be wondering, where is work or energy scalar quantity when it has force in it? Work done or power, power is also a scalar quantity. Power is time rate of doing work. Work done is force times distance, the scalar product of force and distance. It is energy they spend. If you say what work is done by the body, you simply tell me five joules, two joules, three joules. So long work is constant, or talking about work and energy, we are only concerned about the value. Tell us the answer. Okay, what work did he do? If I ask you, the boy did work. Okay, what energy did the boy dispense in doing the work? You say, okay, 20 joules. I won't ask you what is the direction of the energy, or what is the direction of the work done. No. So in these two guys, we are not concerned about direction. We are just concerned about value. But for the vector version of work done and energy is moment and torque. Moment, they are first and distance, but they have turning effect, they have direction. So when work or energy possesses direction, they become moment or force. Density is mass over volume. So ordinary density is a scalar quantity. Why field density or strength, magnetic induction, magnetic flux density, they are feed, which is feed over area, they are uh, vectors. Flux linkage, flux, just linkage of flux, flux linkage is a scalar quantity because it tells us, it tells us number of lines. That's what it indicates. But when you hear flux, flux is a vector quantity. Anything you hear flux, magnetic flux, uh, and when you hear flux or when you hear feed, take, uh, there is high chance that they are vector quantity, not flux linkage, just only flux or feed, electric current uh, flux, uh, feed density or feed strength, magnetic flux density, they are vector quantities. Now, electric current or charge is a scalar quantity. Meanwhile, charge density, look at it too. Looking at scalar and vectors, the only density that is scalar is just density. When you mention density, mass over volume is scalar. But by the time you are talking about magnetic field density or electric current density, they become vector. Electric current density, magnetic flux density, they are vectors. But when you mention only density, which is mass over volume, it is scalar quantity. Electric potential. EMF, that is voltage, or electromagnetic, uh, electromotive force, which are voltage, they are scalars. But electric force, electric field, these are vector quantities. Feed, feed, they are vector quantity. Pressure is force over area. Stress is force over area. But pressure is a scalar quantity. 
because they are only described by magnitude. Pascal, okay. But stress is internal force per area. Internal force per area. And stress doesn't follow the vector law of, of addition. It follows the transformation law of addition. This is why most time stress is not considered a vector quantity. It is considered a tensor quantity because it follows transformation law of addition instead of the vector law of addition. So you can take this to be tensor quantity or you even remove it or confuse it to be scalar quantity. So this is debatable. Which of the following is not a vector quantity? A. Width. B. Displacement. C. Altitude. And D. Acceleration. Which of them is not a vector quantity? Width is a vector quantity. Displacement is a vector quantity. Acceleration is a vector quantity. But altitude or height or distance is a scalar quantity. So option C is the correct option. And for your assignment, open your flash and jam app, go to question search and type scalars and vectors. And there is a feature of the flash and jam application where you click on any subject, you can choose the topic to study under that particular subject. So you can go to scalars and vectors and see questions there. The next episode will move.